So, back for week four of the High Roller Draft League. This week I'm going up against Joe UX9. Uh, this is a repeat from the previous season. What are they going to be bringing? Okay, no Gudra, so Grimstyle's just on the bench for sure. Um, probably not bringing Diggers B, so I think I'm going with the original plan. Oh, this. Diggers B would have only come if there was Discharge Electivire stuff. Grimsnarl was going to come if there was Gudra stuff, potentially, but since there is not, let's go with this. My trick remote beats theirs, which is very nice. And if we're out of trick room, my Rotom beats their trick room mode pretty hard. So. Oregon Coco. Okay, interesting. No, I have no idea if that's a physical or a special Coco. Need to know what kind of Coco they are at this point. I think I will Nasty Plot here. And I will just Struggle Bog for now. And if they turn out to be physical, then I will find out immediately because they will Dynamax the Coco immediately and go for an Airstream. So, it could very easily be the Porygon Dynamax as well. That would be entirely justifiable, like so. You finally got your Wish Key. It finally happens. Thunderbolt, so they are special, okay. But I should outspeed the Porygon. They are Life Orb, that is good to confirm. Struggle Bog is going to be nice here then. They should probably be striking. And who are they going to be striking? the right one, okay. And there's enough for a Citrus Berry, so that's pretty decent. So, I want to trick him with my stack attacker, I think. Do I Dynamax the Rotom? Would that be worth? I don't think my Volcarona can take another one, even with the Struggle Bug. That's going to be super close. Um... Probably don't have to speed the Porygon either. Hmm. Yeah, let's take care of that. And go for another struggle bug. Because if Volcarone is able to survive the turn, then. Um, it will allow my Rotom to be able to survive as well. Although Porygon probably outspeeds me at this point. So I didn't invest much in speed. But now I probably do need to get into Trick Room. So I need my Stack Attacker to be able to do that. So if they bring in my Kiri after I KO this Coco, then a bit awkward. As well, Corona are going to be able to survive with a Struggle Bug. Perfect DBs. Mm, doesn't matter too much because I was going to underspeed anyway. There's another strike. That was good damage, unfortunately. That's why. A bit unfortunate. Francis could hurt if I don't get off either the struggle bug or the rage power.
Hmm. That is unfortunate. There's the arachnid, okay. So I don't know if I live a liquidation. That's gonna be so close. I will try and lightning. And I will try and rage powder. That's not ideal. Probably shouldn't have set up the rain for them. I should have probably gone for the lightning. Because allowing this if this arachnid survives, then stack attack a can't trick room. I need to KO the arachnid this turn. At least the electric trains up so my electric seat will work, but that still doesn't particularly help me at this point. We'll see if there's special Araquanid as well. If I'm able to KO the Araquanid, I'm in a great position. If not, that's not ideal. Get the Rage Powder at least. Nope, that's not Rage Powder, that is a Protect from the Ara Araquanid. So not ideal. Another crit. At least it was in 4 HP. This was still absolutely chunky, Arachnid. Like, that is an absolute chunk. Um, what now? Because if I go and stack attack her. I can go and stack attack her and switch out into Avalog. And if the Rotom's able to get off a Lightning that turn, then that would be really nice. Because this forces an attack into the Stack Attacker. But I got off that earlier Struggle Bug, I'd have been feeling a lot more comfortable at this point. Now, this is still incredibly awkward. But... If I can get this Lightning off into the Arachnid, my Stack Attacker's looking a lot better. Okay, that's smart. Now, hopefully they set Trick Room for me. I can preserve my um, Rotom as well. I can switch into the Sack Attacker next turn. Try Attack shouldn't KO. Don't do it. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Okay. Um, well then. Hmm. Hopefully they're not parting shot here. Um, the Aurora Veil was useless. I'm glad I kept sturdy. I was considering my body, but they didn't bring me no nuts. Um, do I recover here from the tri attack? That's a real shame I didn't get off the other struggle bug. Because I'm expecting a special Incineroar coming out here, but I will try an Iron Defense. All the special Arachnid. Like, something has to be special. But that was a bad freeze. Okay, fake out's fine. Fake out's absolutely fine. That's not too much. Now, do they trick room themselves? As I try and trick room. Because if I get into trick room, I think I will win. Expect them to try and trick room. That's a good start. So I'm rock sliding in a rack with it, which is very good. Hopefully the Arachnid is not special. Just go for trick room with the P2. And don't flinch. If they do go it, I better not flinch. 
Oh yeah, I forgot they were half health. This should still KO. Okay, that's fair enough. I went for recover, right? I better have gone for recover. I can't even remember. I did, okay. So just hit the rock slide. That should still KO the, KO the Arachnid. No, oh, I missed something. Oh, that's so bad. Everything's going wrong. Everything is going wrong. To be fair, if I'd have gone for Trick Room that turn, that would have been fine. This is, this is unfortunate. At least this is just the game one. Stack Attack may live a liquidation. Stack attacker, you've got amazing defense. Oh, sweet. Well, that's pretty decent. And then suddenly, um, so I'm at plus three defense with the Arachnid, right? I had the Abelug. Yeah, so that should KO the P2, especially with the combination of a rock light as well. I'm glad I didn't go lonely. <laughs> okay, something's just happened with my... Unplug this and plug it back in, and I should be able to hear things again. Nope, apparently not. Well, and when this happens, like, sometimes my speaker unplugs and plugs back in for no reason. I have to spend... Like, the video... The thing should still be recording. Um, but I have to spend the rest of the... Um, recording not hearing anything. So, that's going to be a bit awkward. At least the recording still works. But that Incineroar is absolutely KO'd. Are they going to White Guard or Protect? They are protecting, that's fine. Incineroar is going to get KO'd. I can just do the same thing the next turn. Actually, miss the Incineroar. Miss the Incineroar, please. No, okay. Fair enough. Because that Life Orb chip is going to KO me now. So it's a bit unfortunate I wasn't White Herb. Because that switch between the Digsby and the Sec Attacker. But at least this KOs. I can do the same thing into the P2 the next turn, and if they are liquidation, then should still be fine. Even with the frozen roads on. So I am fully expecting this body press to be able to KO. Like, come on, have a luck. You've got this. Yeah, there. That's a little bit much. This is doing a lot. This should KO. Come on, have a luck. Thank you very much. And have a luck has clutched it out. I'm glad that they are physical arachnids. They would have gone for Scald if they had it. They're going for the Crit Poison. Can't believe I, like, oh, like, getting frozen, rocks like miss, like, everything going wrong. Hey, there you go, Rotom, well done. <laughs> okay, then. Well, that was as bad as the game could have gone, and I still clutched it, so... That that bodes well. So, they did max P2. Keen finally got his wish. He maxed P like every time I faced a P2 or was going to face P2, he always did games where he maxed it, and he finally got his wish. Uh, I got good information as well. I got that the Coco was special. Um. I could have EV'd my Pokemon slightly better than the Volcarone and the Rotom to not give the P2 a special attack boost. 
Um, but I went for the Fisher's Wren's survival instead, and there is no Arctivesh, so... Um, Avalug is still looking absolutely amazing. Could be worth switching up to Diggersby, like just leave Diggersby Avalug and just go for Quake immediately and then they may not be able to deal with the Avalug, potentially. I was debating High Horsepower on the Avalug and went for a Royal Veil and that was incorrect, but High Horsepower would have been able to allow Avalug to do the same thing. I can have a lug immediately if I can say words. Uh, it doesn't work straight away because um, Coco can just thunderbolt it. So I don't particularly like that. So I'll just stick with what I know for now. I wish I could hear the music. I don't know why the computer does that, and I still don't know the reason why it does it. It just cuts out for like a second and then comes back. And it just does it every few hours. Like, I don't know why it does. Still the same thing, that's fine. Doing the same thing. So I want to rage power on a nasty flop, but getting the struggle bug off would be nice. No, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I think that's that should still be okay. Yeah, because I didn't think they were gonna die this time. Crit me again. Lovely, lovely. Stack Attacker, and then we've got the same game of do they click Trick Room as I do. I can't believe how, like, wrong things are going in this game. Like, this is not good RNG at all. But if I get into Trick Room, I'm pretty much sorted. I think I can afford to go for Trick Room here. And I will just Struggle Bug again. Because I've got the initial Struggle Bug, Stack Attacker survives everything. Um, even if they switch out into Incineroar here, that's fine. It's into Rhyperia, that's okay. I can get those Steel Spikes going now. Yeah, that's not too much. I was thinking about going for all of but I did not. into Incineroar here. I'm going to Steel Spike anyway. And... Shrine Will-O-Wisp. 
Bit of a shame to sacrifice the Steel Spike. Um, like, I'll deal with the Bright Period later, it's fine. And if they KO the Volcarona, that's the switch into Avalog to get another Steel Spike on it as well. So that would be fine. Okay, here comes Incineroar. Oh, it's Cormanax, okay. So Avalog can still win just on the side. If it's a uh, iron defense uh, war against the Corviknight, Avalog wins by one v one because when they roost, they become um, body press becomes super effective. So I would win in that regard. They didn't Dynamax the Rhyperia, so that was a missed opportunity. To steal like oh, that's a good match. That's a nice crit. Um, revenge crit. Let's go. Um, that's pretty sweet. Uh, did they just rock slide? Did they just high horsepower? High horsepower probably wouldn't get me at this point. EQ would probably would not get me either because of the steel spike boost. EQ, yeah. Well, Corona surviving that because the steel spike. So I get the Willow Witch into the Rhyperia. Then that's pretty sweet. Hmm. So I'm going to steal Spike a Corviknight. Because that crit allows the, that to be able to be a KO now, and I will switch out into Avalug. And then Avalug's going to have to take this game, even though it's going to go up against the Tapu Koko, so that doesn't actually work. Koko will just be able to do a huge amount of damage to the Thunderbolt, unfortunately. So I need to be able to take two KOs in this trick room to be able to attack the... Um, I should be able to do it, actually. Because this should KO the Corpus, based on the crit damage. It did, okay. So I should theoretically be able to do it. Because if they go into Coco this turn, then um, then they'll have to protect and then still take the damage. And if they go into P2, I can KO it with the body press. So this is still okay. Just another EQ. I got the Steel Spike on the Avalug. Oh, but no, actually, I don't get to KO the P2. Doesn't KO. I'd have to bank on it being a KO or go for it into the right area and then not Dynamaxing. No, this still doesn't work, does it? Because they, they've saved their Dynamax, so they'll just Dynamax the P2 and win. So that doesn't work. Okay. They did go into the Coco. So it has to be this. And if they Dynamax the right period, they'll win. But they underspeed me. Did I not go min speed on the Avalog? I swear I did. I outsped the Arachnid, didn't I? I was supposed to be min speed, but I was not. That changes a lot, unfortunately. Because I would have actually been super fine there. Because the. Well, no, I wouldn't because I didn't KO. Um, but at least I get to confirm this weakness policy. But yeah, I need to preserve that Rotom. That Rotom is super sweet. And that just KOs, okay? No, you can't. <laughs> I know it didn't matter there, but you can't. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Um, right. Could just try and get into Trick Room straight away, but the fact that I forgot to make the Avalug min speeds does make that a bit more awkward. I think it's be as nice if I just take care of the Coco, the Avalug can win.
I reckon it's worth leading the stack attacker and immediately dynamaxing. So if they lead the Coco, I can just still just go for that KO. If they switch into Corviknight, that got two shots, so... Because if I just take care of Coco, Avalug can win. Don't like Volcarona anymore. So I'm bringing Diggersby now. I'm going to ally switch and steal spike the Coco. Could Rockfall. They switch into Rhyperia. Like, there's no way they switch into Rhyperia, right? Could just ally switch. And mm, that might be better actually, just go for Gyro Ball, because that would KO. Oh, oh, they might be letting me. They let me. So much Coco makes sense. Need to KO that Coco. If they attack the stack attacker this turn, I'm probably going to lose. Good, good, good stuff. We're not living though, but that's okay. Because this is absolutely going to chunk the speed half the Coco. This is not going to chunk the stack attacker, it is not going to status. Good. And this is huge damage. That's massive damage. And here is the Diggersby. Guard here. They didn't, okay. It's just over. It. That's okay. It's gonna do a lot. Why not? was a mistake unless they tried to trick him. Should have gone for body press. Because my Everlug doesn't, like if I get into Trick Room then they can still um, be okay with that. I should have just attacked the Porygon because that's, those are the special attackers. I should have just gone for that. That was a mistake. Trick room. And that was just a sick room. That Trick Room was a mistake. Should have been body press. 
Because Digger's Beast should outspeed everything else, so that was a mistake. So they're going to Rhyperia now. It's just Incineroar, I'm white side. That's okay. Might be better to go from Max Guard and a truck with the reverse. That would have been pretty decent. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part, it seems. So I'm gonna take fire back most likely. Unless they reverse the trigger. Yeah, they did. Yeah, no, I played the last two turns very poorly. Because they were physical on the Incineroar. Still should be able to eat this. Like, that's not really eating, but you know. Okay, okay. I should have gone speed two. What am I doing? Okay, it didn't KO at least, so that's something. What am I doing? For Aurora Veil, that would have been so good in the EQ. What do I do here? Am I neutral on the stack attack? Yeah, so Rock Slide would KO. But Body Press would cover for the Rhyperia switch, but I want the flinch chance. They stayed in, hit both, KO'd Incineroar, flinched the P2. Plus defense on the stack attacker means that body press is going to chunk the Rhyperia. Might even KO the P2 at this point, actually. In reverse Trick Room. And if they got Rhyperia, then... Um, Still doesn't really work. No, the grass trains up. They better not have a high horsepower. If they don't have a high horsepower. I can do it. It's Corbinite, okay. So I can do this one. If I can survive the Iron Head and the um, Tri Attack, I can do it. Oh, I can't. That's not. That's not enough. Yeah, too much. This needs to be able to KO the P2 now. No, it did not. Okay, that's not good. I played. There were two turns. But I played very poorly there. I, could, I very much could have won this game. And I'm very disappointed in myself that I am almost certainly losing at this point. Yeah, that 
bulked up. Why we need to crit at this point. Still flinch. I've got I've got to be able to KO the P2 this turn with Rock Slide. And I've got to flinch the Corviknight, and then I also have to crit with the body press. Because they will body press KO me at this point. Well, I guess this this KO's the P2, which it probably should. Which it did. It's not over. Plus two defense against their plus one. No, I'm way low. They bolt up again. How much are they doing to me and how much am I doing to them? I have... I've still got a chance. Do I need to try and flip them? Uh, the answer seems to be yes. But they came me back. They wouldn't KO me back. No, it's got to be body press crit at this point. And given the amount of crits that they've got against me. Oh! If I live. If I live. They roosted, okay. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I need to crit. I need to crit the body press. That's not a crit. Still got two more chances. And even then, I don't think it KOs at this point. Like, my matchup seemed to be great. And even the first game, I won with, like, even terrible luck. Nice and crit! No. Um, and then they can just body press or roost at this point. Or oh, Iron Head, okay. Give me another chance, sure. Oh no, that's the end, so fair enough. Yeah, no, I, I'm very disappointed to have lost this one. I, the, this was one of the most confident I had felt going into a game, so I'm very disappointed in myself to have lost this one. Because um, my matchup seemed great. There are a couple of turns. Fighter John for body press into the P2 instead of Trick Room. I think Trick Room was the biggest mistake with the stack attacker. Um, and they didn't even bring Rhyperia, so it was still okay. But no, no. It, yeah, like, I, I'm, I'm very disappointed to lose that one. Not, not just like because of the money and all that, but that one seemed to be one of my best matchups. So to lose that is, is quite disappointing.